So Intel score i7-4700 MQ and i5-4200U. The suffix MQ denotes a mobile quad core processor and the suffix U denotes the ultra low core voltage processor. So the most important difference between these two are uh, these two processors is that the MQ part is a quad core, it's a mobile processor, but it's not a low power processor. The U part is a dual core and it's a low power processor. Obviously, the i7-4700 MQ is much faster than the 4200U part. Let's take a look at some of their key specifications. In terms of the base clock frequency, the 4700 MQ is much faster than 4200U and not to mention about the, f the fact that the MQ is quad core a higher clock frequency as well as the double the number of cores that makes MQ way too faster than the U part. Look at the turbo clock frequency that is still up oh, 4200 U still catches up a little bit in turbo clock. The turbo clock basically what it does it it increases the clock frequency for a small amount of time as required. Why we cannot do it for a long period of time? Because when it raises that clock frequency, the processor gets heated much more faster to the extent that it's beyond its specification. And to reduce the thermal heating, it has to reduce its clock frequency. So, 4200U is better in the sense that it's still catching up 4700Q and Q. And in case, if your requirement does not need a very great amount of processing power then 4200U may be still good enough. In terms of pass mark score, as we expected, the MQ is more than twice the performance of i5-4200U. What it basically means that in case you need a good processing power, for example, if you are a software engineer, you need to run a lot of programs, you need to compile programs, you need to uh, edit videos, you need you do a CAD, computer aided design, mechanical designs or any kind of electrical design that needs a lot of processing power, you will need to go with i7-4700 NQ. But if your needs are not in that range and if you need more mobility, better battery life, thin laptops, easy to carry, low weight, then you need to get a laptop with i5-4200U. The integrated graphics, both of them come with integrated graphics and the four, seven, the NQ part comes with slightly better graphics. Both of them are not great for high-end computing but it's still good for a smooth video display and still good for some of the games that do not tax your computer's graphics processing power. You can play some of the games at low settings, medium graphics settings, so on and so forth. One of the most important thing that you need to look, take a look at is thermal dissipation power rating which is 15 watts for 4200U and 47 watts for MQ part. Basically, the MQ part will need a lot of cooling in terms of bigger heatsink, good fan, so on and so forth and that's why you will see this processor used mostly in bigger laptops, typically 17 inch laptop, a little thicker to make room for the cooling in terms of heating, uh, heat sink and the fan. Let's take a look at some of their key specifications at Intel's website. We have covered most of these specifications. Mm. So, to Let's see, we have covered most of these. For example, their clock speed is 1.6 GHz versus 2.4 GHz. Now, one of the things that we did not cover is their cache. The 4700NQ has twice the cache as compared to the 4200U. The cache plays a great role in speeding up the performance. For example, if you are opening the browser more often, it will store the program the browser software in the cache the most important ones the ones that you use more often and it will come up quickly when you need it to open it next time 
In terms of uh, pricing, the 4700MQ is about $100 higher, so you expect that this the note everything else keeping the same the 4700 mq will be 100 to 150 dollar at least more than 4200u which is worth in case if you need that processing power so hope that you find this review helpful in taking a decision and leave your comments in the comment section below thank you